Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to the Rimworld. Uh, we're picking up where we left off as usual. Tigris and Barrow are doing a little bit of mining for us. Um, some planting, some trees have been planted, um, and some bedrooms are being made. Just want to check the stockpile here, just to make sure that. Um, we are, yeah, the AI Persona Co Core is, does have a home. Somebody will come and haul it fairly soon. So Barrow's making some new bedrooms there. Excellent. Gauga's doing his bit, doing some building. Still haven't recorded, um, we still haven't recruited Jono. In fact, just want to make sure, yes, we are trying to recruit him. Just to be on the safe side. Oh good, the uh, solar storm is over. That's set up nicely. We have a new bed, so uh, let's get rid of Grumpy's bed. There we go. Um, what I think I want to do uh, this episode more than anything else is beautify these rooms a little bit. Um, it's going to be harder to do with these rooms because we're still digging off of them and I'm not too worried about it but there's two things I want to do first of all is I want to get all of these rocks out of here because it doesn't make the place look very nice um, yeah and those there as well not those though okay it's home it's somebody will haul that how are we looking at hauling okay Gumpy, if not growing, is hauling. We could probably use somebody else hauling, but we don't have anyone. So the next person who signs up is likely to get uh, um, hauling as a priority of theirs. Um, Tara's uh, Tara, are you cooking? You're cooking, of course, aren't you? Yes, Tigress doesn't do that anymore. Because you're a slightly better cook, aren't you? So here we go, we're getting all this put together quite fast. Um, actually, let's do this. It's getting quite important that we have some additional power generation, and those will help a lot. As will one, two, those. So got to bear in mind, of course, that solar panels are no use at all during an eclipse or during the night. Uh, those batteries will help soak up some excess power during the day and we'll pay it back at night. They're actually more like capacitors than batteries, but who cares? Uh, when you've done those, we'll sort these out. We've recruited Jono! Yay! Welcome back to the team, Jono. So you're a biologist. You can, can be our backup researcher. Um, I think we've got enough people growing now, but um, we do need more people to think about hauling. So, as a punishment for your long extended rest, you can be our hauler. And yeah, let's put you up a notch on crafting as well. There we go. Welcome back. You're going to need a sleeping spot, aren't you? So let's sort you out a sleeping spot while we're working on your bedroom. In fact, let's put your sleeping spot where your bedroom will be. Finished mortars, research screen. Um, hydroponics would be good. Nutrient synthesis would be good. Cremation would be, let's do cremation. We've got a lot of bodies floating around and this being the room world, we're more than likely to find a lot more, so. Uh, Jono, what are you using in a weapon? You're not at the moment, are you? So when you finished eating, there we go, you finished eating. Grab yourself this piler. And that looks like food. Okay, let's have that food. Excellent. Looking good, and you've jumped straight into the hauling job. And you've jumped straight into the sleeping job. Great. Knew I could rely on you, Jono. I knew I could rely on you. Right, those are built. And there's still some digging. Oh, actually, we could probably start making two bedrooms here. So let's make that our next job. Um, 
So we want a couple of beds. One, two. We want a couple of standing lamps. One, two. We want some doors. Wood doors because they look ever so nice. In fact, we can put those there now as well. And we want some power cabling up here so that everything works. Excellent. There we go. Right, and in fact, let's get these last beds done as well. One, two, and standing lamps. One. Actually, one there, and one there. And actually, that one can stay there, to be honest with you. I think that'll be quite useful. Um, detected a cluster of cargo cars. Jumps location. Where's that? Oh, that's not a bad location. And we could use some stone, so let's say we'll have that. Excellent. Thinking of stone, let's get a stone cutting table set up as well, and the crafters can start crafting that. And that is production, if I remember right. Yep, stone cutter's table. Seeing as we're holding the stone down here, we'll put it down there as well. Excellent. Forest forested area being laid out this is all walled in uh, we could actually start thinking about shooting some of these rodents in fact let's set that order out uh, might mean we're going to have to put out a few fires but it's not the end of the world I say okay there we go they shouldn't be able to get in much now and that should be good enough all right so Jono Seeing as there's these beds created, let's sleep. How about you sleep somewhere properly? As also for you, Tara, because you have a bed now. Excellent. There we go. You guys can sleep in beds. You're not sharing beds anymore. That's nice. And how much mining do we have at the moment? We don't have any mining going at the moment, so I think I'm going to start the next bit off. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just create this loop around here. And this loop around here. After that, we're going to start working on this central area. Cremation done. And let's go for hydroponics next. So let's start thinking about a cremation area, shall we? Um, we want it off the beaten track, but relatively close to where the fights are going to happen. And actually, they're going to be happening up here. So this seems like a better location. So let's make ourselves a room. So a bit more mining, I think. And we'll do it here, let's say. Like that. And we can have a door in there the door in there and when that's mined out we'll put the cremation tools in there and a nice bit of storage area for cremation and then we'll get all these corpses in that are up this corner here down here get them burned that way they're not going to be bothering anyone actually while I'm thinking about it um, furniture and no, that's not going to be that structure misc 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 I want to put in a few graves for later on and it's going to be somewhere I want to be able to make look pretty so let's put them in here two three four and I know what to do there is I want to make this storage for humanoid corpses but only colonists same here so we're going to take off our strangers I wish you could do these as a bulk, but you can't. And there, storage, take off stranger. If a colonist dies, they get a burial. If a passerby dies, they, uh, oh, a slave trader. Excellent. More bodies. Uh, Barrow, there you are. Got a job for you. There we go. Hey, you're a food trader. Don't really have anything we need. Volva. 
Are they? I, I, yeah, I haven't been paying too much attention. They've been and gone. Never mind. We'll get them next time round. So this is starting to come together. That's been built. That's excellent. So let's uh, actually let's take a moment to put some doors in there. Um, a, a powered door on the outside, uh, but a wooden door on the inside because it doesn't need to be as defensible. Um, misc production, yeah, production. Um, we're going to want a crematorium there, and we're also going to want the storage for bodies here. So let's just create a stockpile here. And what we'll do in there is storage, no apparel, no resources. Corpses we'll allow. Uh, not allow buried corpses, not allow colonist corpses. That's good. And then we'll just expand that zone like that bodies will be stored in there actually what we also want to make this one critical so they all go here first what's this cluster of cargo pods uh, no that's too far away from the colony and quite frankly it's all going to get eaten before we do much there have we picked up this stuff no we haven't picked up this stuff yet might need to prioritize that later on um, yeah, an inventor is passing by, don't care. You know what, I think we're going to put in a couple of more batteries as well. Um, that's power. Those batteries filled quickly, so we might as well chuck in a couple more. Makes the room look a bit better. And it'll help us out later on. So there we go. Um, let's add a bill here. Make stone blocks. Carry on forever. We'll figure this forever close. Um, I don't think we want it to be. There we go. We we'll use rocks that are that far away. So that will pick up rocks here. But uh, it won't go walking all over the map looking for them, which is, I think is exactly what I want. Okay, this is looking good. We don't have any people sleeping on the floor in this area anymore this has all been tunneled through um, what we do want to is put a whole all things order here get rid of those rocks hydroponics is done uh, nutrient resynthesis is going to make sense fairly soon um, so we'll do that let's start looking at this so structure Wood door, let's put one there and one there, and wood wall. Just want to just want to move this away like that. So that's the that area has been cut off where the, the generator is, and this area has been cut off because that's going to be where the new prison is. And we'll make a nicer prison for the guys. Well, the guy. Uh, I almost had a chance to sell him, didn't I? How annoying. Okay, and yeah, it looks like most things small and furry have been removed from this area. I uh, just want to put some hunt orders up just in case some have been missed. Um, hunt. Yeah, they had been missed. Um, no, that's not a corpse, that's just a spot of blood. Now, while I'm thinking about it, let's have that. They do like their hunting, don't they? A combat supplier is fly, flying past Barrow. I don't know what you were doing, but you're not doing any more. Let's have a chat with this combat supplier. Uh, we've got nothing to sell them. But, oh, they don't have much of the weapons, but we'll buy that and that, and we'll sell off this pistol. And while I'm thinking about it... Tara, do you have a weapon? You have a weapon. Tigress, you have a weapon. Jono, you have a weapon. Who else have I recruited quick, uh, recently? It was... Tara was the last one. Okay, everyone has a weapon. That's good. Um, you're not wired up, are you? Okay, let's get you wired up. And I think the easiest way of doing that is this way. Um, it is... 
Oh, I put metal doors on the side. I thought I put wood on one side. Never mind. Um, power. Power conduit like that. Power con. No. Um, let's cancel that. Because we will have a power conduit coming around here. Which we might as well put in now as well. To complete the loop, and that can go there, and that will power that door. That stockpile is. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, missed one. Human corpse. You've got to tick both of them. So that should. The hauler should start putting the corpses there soon. Excellent. And then we'll start. Um, We'll start burning them in the crematorium. Nutrient resynthesis. We've done that one. Slag refining is a possibility. Machining is also a good idea. Carpet making is not bad either. And it's cheap, so let's do carpet making. Right, we're getting there. Let's make some of these rooms look a bit nicer, shall we? Uh, first thing, let's turn these all on again. There's no need for any of them to be off. We'll soon see if we start losing power all over the place. Next thing I want people to do is... Decoration, not decoration. Miscellaneous. Uh, oh, come on, I want carpets. Floors, of course, they're on floors. So, seeing we're underground, let's just do some smooth stone for now. It looks nice, and it's easy to do. And we've got everything smooth stoned. I think up to about here. I'm not entirely certain. Well, we can't smooth stone that area anyway. And I don't want to do anything that will affect our growing. And that'll make people feel a bit happier. A ship is passing by and they are a slave trader. Excellent. Uh, who am I looking for? Jono? No. Barrow, there you are. Um, come on, Cracktown West traders. Let's sell off Stomp. Sorry, Stomp. And let's buy some new people. People. Right, you've got to go. I'm sorry, mate. No use for a feline scientist. I can't think of a use for a feline scientist. So we've got John, the space hunter. And we have Dewald, the escaped convict. So let's have a look at both of them. Um, he was a scout, and he became an escaped convict. Um, he's a cat lover with artificial hands. Not particularly good at anything, but a better crafter than we've got. Okay, that's a possibility. And let's have a look at John. John is the son of a huntress who became a space hunter. Interested in medicine, interested in construction, pretty good at shooting. Pretty good at melee, but who cares... All told, not a bad purchase, to be honest with you. Let's, let's, let's buy him. So, John, welcome to the team. Okay, let's have a look at you. First of all, you're wearing a t-shirt. That must be a bit drafty, so put a jacket on. Oh, no, no. Okay, Barrow, you've got the jacket. Uh, John, let's look at you instead. Needs, gear, you're not wearing anything. And you're not armed with anything, so first off, wear a button-down shirt. And I see we're going to have to get some more clothes here, aren't we? And when you're done with that, equip this Uzi. Now done. Alright, let's have a quick look at you, see what we can do with you. Alright, you're a huntsman, so it's fairly obvious what we should do with you is... Let's make you your priority hunting. Um... Uh, okay, so you also like crafting, and you're actually not that bad at it. So, when you're not hunting, let's make that your job, crafting. Uh, we have a hauler. You don't, um, you don't haul anyway, but okay, let's make that a two. And we'll make these fours, so if you're not doing something you're interested in, you're doing something else. So there we go. Welcome. So the team, Jono, John, rather. Welcome to the team, John. John, meet Jono. Jono, John. Let's set a bill up for this when it's powered. Add 
there. Oh no, okay. Um, carpet making, that's done. Um, machining, let's do machining. Okay, add a bill, cremate corpse, forever. Um, I just want to vastly limit the area that you search in because I don't want you wandering off over the map to pick things up to go to put here when we don't want them. Okay, so there we go. I think we're coming up to 20 minutes. Things are shaping up again. We've got a few people on board. We no longer have any prisoners. Um, we have an, a reasonable sized team. We have some good equipment. The entire base is starting to look a bit nicer, which is a good sign. So I think I'm going to leave it there. This has been the RimWorld. I've been Simon Parsons. Thank you and good night.